air-conditioned um, boat or hotel or something. Uh, uh, summertime I could, is I could, warm. I could do that. Don't forget, in wintertime it is cool here. Not the same.
just down below, there's a path. There's a trail, yep. That supposedly goes to the cave of the apocalypse. Of John's apocalypse. Christianity is like this road here, bypasses the real one, which is not desirable. The arrow points this way. But it's not clear. It's the only way it could be. It's deliberately it's unclear because they could put a sign here. They could have a sign right here. Pointing that yeah. way. Yeah, right here. But no, they're no. not interested in having people go this way. No, whatsoever. You can't, you can't pull any money out of them. This is the building annexed to the cave and a view from the window. It's very green below. Warm. The smell is very similar to New Mexico. And that is Scala down below. From our room, we can see a cruise ship that's uh, basically weight anchor here. reach the end of the pier here. There's still some boats that are following the beach line. <laughs> and an assortment of boats here on this dock or here, whatever you want to call it. Oh, nice fancy motorized machine here. A little dinghy, I don't know what you'd call that. And a nice sailboat behind it. It appears to be for rent. And so on. There's a whole series of boats here. in uh, Scala. And our objective is to go to Campos, Campos, which is just another community, another section of the island. This island is really kind of like three islands in one, joined at pinch points. So they're kind of like three islands. Funnels. Little funnels, exactly. And so on the north section, we find Campos, kind of in the middle of that little section. Whereas Scala is actually at the pinch point itself, right near the, the main port where the ferries 
It's the main and harbor. Disembark in the main harbor, yeah. And this is the main harbor here. And the most protected, I would imagine. And there is a supply ship, and there's a cruise ship in the background. This place seems to be visited frequently by cruise ships. This is the third cruise ship we see so far in our stay here, three days. <laughs> three in three days, that's incredible. A lot of traffic. So if this is normal for these people, oh my goodness, the traffic, the amount of people. It must harden these people so much to the people. Scala Beach. Fairly nice beach, but the, this island is very rocky. That I've noticed. Which indicates that this place appears to be very recent, geologically speaking. If it had been an old island, the sand, the rocks would be turned to sand, pulverized, so like so many other places. I've noticed a lot of fig trees on this island. Must be very suitable for that. A lot of pomegranates too. House under construction. Now we're climbing up. There's another bay here. That's a cute little bay. Yeah. But sharp, see? Sharp escarpment here. Might be an awesome place to park a boat. Yeah. Oh, a sharp turn here. To the heliport. Look at that. There's a heliport over here. Yeah, because there is no airport on this island. No airplanes. And a multitude of eucalyptus trees. Very suitable climate here. Very much like Australia. Oh, nice view here. Oh, yes. Great place to park a boat. Mm -hmm. That's a fantastic spot. Beautiful view, too. Is that a scout? No, no. I mean, uh, it's a different place altogether. Yeah, calling these different towns is really kind of moot because it's one continuous yeah, collection of acreages, really. Houses, acreages. It's all resi residential. And countless little chapels. How many did they say? Over, he claimed over 300. 350 maybe? Lots of them. That's worse than uh, See? It's rugged terrain. Yep. Well, this is Campos Beach. It's probably the nicest beach on the island. It's a very nice bay. Well protected. That's yeah, just another tourist trap. This is a vineyard. This is a vineyard. Dilapidated old vines. Looks abandoned. God's vineyard is not very well managed, just like that. Man is not very uh, adept at managing. Way back there. Good view from here. You can hear the cock crow. of 
orchards. Very conducive to that. A strange basin here. I'm not sure what that's for. It's very dry. Maybe a threshing floor, maybe. Who knows? This is far more interesting than the monastery and, stu and such. <laughs> far more interesting. There is no bus according to that schedule. Uh-oh. Well, we better get back. <laughs> We're going to go down the hill, so it is now. 335. Just enough time to get back. Very beautiful. Yeah, it, it was worth the walk, I think. Yeah. We downhill now. Nice beach too down there. Strange coincidence. We sat down for a beer for 20 minutes. And they started playing nothing but Canadian music for us. And Murray. And they didn't even know it. So we asked the, uh, the, the waiter at the end, we asked him, does the player know that this is all Canadian mu music? And he says, uh, you have to talk to the guy over there. I said, well, this is a strange coincidence. And the guy says, oh, there's no coincidence. There's a fine line between coincidence and fate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only he knew. There's Harbor again, eh? Stay very long. That one stayed overnight, I think. Yeah, pretty much. There's still a big ship over there. Ah, uh, that's the same one as this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Spend the day. people trading he would have felt exactly the same way here they're just using John just for the circuits just for the purpose of trading and profiteering has nothing to do with God or anything 